<laughs> so tell me a little bit about what you do. You seem like you have such an amazing life. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I mean, I guess it's all in the eye of the beholder, right? Like I've got so many plates in the air. It doesn't often feel amazing. It often feels a little chaotic. Um, so I, I'm multifaceted. Obviously, I'm a mom. I have three daughters. My eldest girl is going to be 32. My middle girl is about to be 30. And uh, our baby's 24. So from being a mom, I wrote my debut book, Raising Your Kids Without Losing Your Cool, because, uh, you know, the reality is you cannot raise kids without losing your cool. And so what do you do after you've lost your cool? So that's kind of one facet of who I am. And then I'm a serial entrepreneur. So um, I also own a marina on a lake where we have a summer home. And it's uh, obviously it's also kid centric because, you know, it's a marina. So they come for ice cream, penny candies. We do kids art classes and, um, you know, we do boat storage and all that other technical marina stuff. But mostly we, we like to hang out with the little kitties and have our bulldogs, our mascot. So the kids love having him around. And anytime I post on social media that he's going to be there, you, you watch as the boats start to pull up like a half hour later. And all these kids are like on the bow and they're like, Duke's here. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, um, you know, so I do that. And then also, um, I, you know, I'm a wife. I'm a homemaker. I'm a lot of things. I do a lot. I wear a lot of hats as most women do. Yes, I can definitely relate to that. And how do you balance it all? Uh, well, you know what, this practice came a little bit later in life. Um, but I've started doing a lot of meditation, a lot of journaling, a lot of yoga. I'm a classic A type personality kind of person, super competitive, a little OCD. And, um, I found that I was always kind of chasing my tail because I have so many interests, you know, I like I'm entrepreneurial, but I'm also creative and, you know, I want to be a hands-on mom. So I found like I was often kind of running in circles and chasing my tail. So I found what helped me when I, the girls were younger was obviously being organized with lists and scheduling and really staying on top of that kind of stuff in my life really made my life go much smoother back then and now I find that as I'm older and and you know my mom always just say little kids little problems big kids big problems now that I have big kids I totally get what she meant by that you know what I mean so I find that now I really have to do a lot of meditating and I have a great circle of women that I like lean on and get advice from because, you know, parenting adults is totally, totally different than um, parenting young kids and certainly helping them through a pandemic, helping myself through a pandemic. I mean, whoever thought we'd be here, right? Exactly. Yeah. And how do you do it during the pandemic? I know we all are in the whole different situations right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, we're doing well. I mean, I, I think thankfully for us, um, you know, and our immediate family and extended family, we've not been impacted negatively by COVID as far as losing anybody to the to the virus. So um, not sitting, what it stays that way. Right. Like exactly. I mean, we're sitting pretty over here. So in that regard, you know, we haven't had that same challenge that so many, many families have. So um, we're very, very fortunate. And we're both in business as my husband's an actor. So he got very lucky. His show, the filming of his season was delayed, but it wasn't completely um postponed you know they they were able to get back into production and get the season um happening and get it put into production and get it wrapped and all that good stuff before you know we got put back down on lockdown both in toronto and los angeles and i own a seasonal business and and we're only open from may to october so lucky again for me the marina had the ability to you know monitor how many people came in people wearing masks and all that sort of thing so both our businesses came through, you know, somewhat unscathed. And it, you know, that's not lost on me that that gift and blessing is definitely not lost on me when so many people that's not been the outcome for them. It's been, it's been a wild, wild year that um, I think it'll take many, many generations, possibly even to get through and overcome. Crazy, absolutely crazy. A little off topic. I saw a little puppy dog walking in the back. Was that a corgi that you have? No, you know what? That's so interesting that you asked that because our youngest daughter just bought a corgi puppy. So we'll be meeting him soon. No, that's our English bulldog, Duke, and he's the mascot of the Marine. So. <laughs> nice, nice. Also, so it was a little tushy with no tail. And yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. I used to have a corgi, so that's why. Yeah, I, yeah. I what a cutie can... pie. Yeah, he's very cute. Oh, you had a corgi. Oh, I'll have to pick your brain on how to raise them because we hear that they can be quite difficult. No, Zach was the most chill dog we ever had. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. I'll you let her know. Make sure that you, um, he doesn't start pulling on people's legs because they're like, 
what should we call it? Dogs that kind of take people. The <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, herding? like they're there. You dog? go, yeah, herding dog. But he was like the sweetest, cutest oh, little thing, and oh, it's very, good. it's very good. Your your daughter's gonna have a good time with the corgi. Oh, good. Okay, good. Good. I'll let her know. I mean, she's grown up with dogs her whole life, so she's a do- a dog expert, as it were. But it's her first, you know, solo dog. They've always been our dogs that we've done the rearing. So yeah. yeah. But her two older sisters have gone ahead before her. They each have little dogs of their own. So we have grand dogs. We we don't have any grandchildren yet, but we have lots of grand dogs. Very nice. Yeah. So what's coming for you in 2021? Um, thank you for asking. Well, what's coming in 2021? I'm currently working on the parenting your teen without losing your cool book, which um, a lot of a lot of people when they were reviewing raising your kids without losing your cool, were a little taken aback and, and annoyed that I only went to age 10 in that first book. But for those listening right now who maybe have newborns or, or littles at home, um, you know, you cannot write about what color to paint the nursery and to gender reveal or not gender reveal, and then also talk about, you know, drugs, blowjob parties. <laughs> you, know, you can't talk about it. You don't want to blow parents' minds, literally. You know what I mean? So I thought, yeah. okay, I thought better of it. I thought, okay, I'm going to separate this parenting notion into two categories. We're going to do kids first and then we'll handle teens in a separate book. So I'm currently working on that, uh, rebooting my website to reflect. I'm going to start some online um, parenting coaching, relationship coaching, where people can log in and sign up to have, you know, one-on-one Zoom meetings and calls with me to get advice on, you know, how to, how to get through this thing called life without losing your cool. Um, there's product coming, journals coming, you know, you name it. It's going to, it's going to be a big year. And of course, planning season 2021 for the Marina, like, what are we going to do this summer to keep it fun and interesting for our customers on the lake? Nice. And we're in holiday time. So what do you, what are some of your favorite holiday traditions? Um, wow. I have so many, we love to go driving and looking at Christmas lights. We love to get some hot cocoa in the car and go and do that. We love to, um, we used to, when the girl were low, we used to go and cut our Christmas trees down together at a Christmas tree farm. But now that it's bigger, we kind of just go and get, get one off the, you know, pick one off the lot. Um, so decorating the tree together is a big, big one that I'm a fan of cooking Christmas dinner together. Um, another thing that I love doing during the holidays is cause you know, we, you know, we all have so much. In, in fact, most of us have far too much and uh, too many things in our homes. I think we've all come to realize that in 2020, as we've sat in our houses for days and days and days upon end. Um, so I love at this time of year, picking organizations that have a great need and donating funds to them. Um, I feel like it's, it, and right now this Christmas, we decided that what we would do is we picked five local small businesses in our community, um, four of which are female owned and operated and donated funds to them in the hopes that what little we could give them will help them still be there on the other side. So for me, Christmas is really about giving. It's about spending quality time. It's about resting, rebooting, you know, all those, all those things. And, you know, my family's quite spread out, so we don't get to have the big family Christmases like we used to. I mean, I came from a family of nine cousins and, you know, five siblings, my mom had four siblings and we would all pile in at a house. There'd be like 30, 35 of us. And we would sing Christmas carols and all the things. So um, we don't have that part yet, back in our tradition. So we do other things like we bake and cook and do the Christmas tree light thing and go see little neighborhoods and, you know, chill basically. Very good. And one thing I like to ask the people I interview is tell me a fun fact about yourself that might surprise people. Oh, fun fact that might surprise people about me. Oh my gosh. I've never been asked this. Uh, <laughs> oh, I sing really, really great with the radio and terribly on my own. I used to want to be a singer, but it's awful. It's actually my family, my girls have, you know, broken it to me quite gently that my singing voice is literally quite awful. So that's a surprise. I was surprised to learn that. I was surprised to learn that. I thought I was a good singer until I realized I'm not. I make William Hung look like a Grammy winning singer. So 
God bless William Hung. He I love him. Of- yeah, he was great. He was great. Yeah, my mom actually bought his albums when he released them in back in the day because she just thought he was so adorable. He was adorable. You know what? He was unabashedly himself. And I think that that's that, you know, more of us need to do that. You know, we yeah. need to embrace ourselves and em- embrace our, our uniqueness instead of like trying to be like everybody else and not feeling cool for who we are. Like we're all beautiful and wonderful and fantastic, even even in our lack of talent and lack of abilities were awesome amen to that and one thing we're a tv site too what are you watching on tv these days oh you know what we finally finished ozark which is hilarious because with my husband being in the film industry and us buying a marina you know the people the people on the lake the, of our community thought they were really funny they would come in and like are you guys ozarking they're like no we're not ozarking we're legitimately running a legit we do not work for the drug cartel we are not on a tv show we are legitimately doing this um so that was funny for the first year and now the new customers are you know they still pop in and they tell that joke so we just wrapped that up and we started the queen's gambit so we don't get a lot of time together to watch tv my husband even though he's on tv he's not a fan of tv so we don't do a lot of sitting around uh a we're busy and it's just he's not a fan of it so um on my own i'm watching the crown i love it i love all those kinds of of british historical you know dramatic television shows i ate downton abbey up and you know tudors all that stuff but together we're we've just started the gambit the queen's gambit so we're halfway through it i'll let you know what i think and he's watching mandalorian alone of course of course yeah gotta love the baby yoda I love baby Yoda. It's pretty cute. Yeah. So you said your husband's on TV. Tell us where we could see him. Um, well, he's on a TV show. They're actually the 14th season is coming to air shortly. Um, he's on a TV show called Murdoch Mysteries. So I think you guys um, are you're in New York. I'm in Pittsburgh. You're in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Okay, so yeah, you guys should be able to still get it on Amazon, um, Alibi TV. There's a few places you can get it. Um, here in California, it airs on Oxygen and another local LA ch- station. Um, but I do believe it's on Netflix again. Um, I think they've released seasons back on that. Perfect. Yeah, definitely got to watch that. And where can we find you on social media? Okay, you can find me everywhere at Chantelle Bisson and Chantelle with an S. My mom did me dirty. I know she spelt it how it sounds, not the way people spell it. Um, so I'm Chantelle Bisson on Instagram. I'm not very active on Twitter. Um, my Facebook is totally being rebooted right now. So come hang out there. You're going to find some good, fun stuff coming up in the new year. And my website is www.chantellebisson.com. And we're rebooting that too. Um, so come join in and watch all the transformation happen. And I also just started a new Instagram that's more in keeping with the without losing your cool brand um, where you're going to be able to learn about the coaching sessions and all the products um, and that's simply on instagram without losing your cool perfect i'm going to follow you on everything thank you so much for taking the time today and for the record i love the spelling of your name i think it's pretty (laughs) thank you well then it's going to be easy to find my book online too at amazon or walmart.com yes is it on kindle as well yeah 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 yep and the audible book is coming out Wow. And he's it, look, the 22nd. So soon. Perfect. Perfect. I will buy it and I can't wait to read it. Thank you so much. I Have a wonderful it. holiday. Yes. You too. Be safe. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>